what you want, man. Why, why are you calling me out here, huh? You want to talk about Dennis? <laughs> You're better off asking his girlfriend. Her, na her name's, uh, Stella. Yeah, she's at the club down on Roulette Street. Yeah, she can probably tell you more about Dennis than I can. That guy, huh? <laughs> no, nothing. He's a friend of mine, you know? I don't hate him. I mean, we had been drinking together the night before he died, after all. Uh, I don't know, he did seem pretty flush recently, if you know what I mean. He called me up out of the blue and uh, said he'd pick up the tab that night. That wasn't really important, it was just how he normally brags. That wasn't really important, it was just how he normally brags. He was all proud of this red Portland Jacks t-shirt he was wearing, too. The red ones are a limited edition or something, they're pretty rare. A Portland Jacks t-shirt. If he was telling the truth, the victim was wearing that shirt on the day of the incident. In any case, after hearing this testimony, it seems hard to believe that the deceased would have committed suicide. That reminds me, the man said in his interview that the deceased had a girlfriend. I wonder if HQ knows who she is. This is worth asking little guy about. Yes, did you call Dr. Kimishima? I need you to look into somebody for me. A woman named Stella Abbott. Oh, the deceased's girlfriend? Well, technically his ex. That doesn't matter. Can you find her? We already have. HQ's just finished questioning her. Oh, should I send you the recording? Please. Now, if you don't mind. I feel like I'm getting closer to understanding who Dennis Taylor really is. This does raise some doubts. The electrician supposedly came to the victim's room to fix his air, but he didn't repair the ceiling fan? Or did the fan break after the electrician had left? In any case, I'll need to hear his account again. The average adult male would have to lose at least 1,500 milliliters in order to bleed to death. This means that... <laughs> Concentrate. Well, the amount of blood loss required varies from person to person. So this isn't quite proof. It is unusual, though. I'll have to remember it. Yes? Oh, uh, yes, that's right. A, a murder? Yes, that's fine. He said his air was broken and it needed to be fixed. That was... Around noon, I think? I got the call earlier that day. Yes. He said he needed it fixed that day, so I went straight there when I finished the job I was doing. Yeah, it was really quick. All I had to do was swap out a cable. Right. I think I was only there for about an hour. Yes, I fixed his heater. The customer? Well, the way he looked, I wouldn't be surprised if he committed suicide. Around 3 p.m.? No, I wouldn't have a clue. I was already fixing a washing machine at my next appointment's house. Yeah, it was really quick. Yeah. Yeah, it was really quick. All I had to do was swap out a cable. Right. I think I was only there for about an hour. Yes, I fixed his... Yes. He fixed the heater. Something about that seems odd.
concentrate. Yes, the deceased's neighbor mentioned that. Summer is already starting. And yet, on the day of the incident, the deceased wanted to have his heater repaired? There's something strange about this after all. the clothing that the deceased was wearing on the day of the incident. That's odd. There's nothing that stands out about the clothing. Somebody said something about what the deceased had been wearing that day. This shirt is bothering me. That was careless. The deceased was apparently wearing a red t-shirt on the day of the incident. Did he change after he got home? Or was there some reason for changing his shirt? Hmm, I still have doubts. My main concern about this is... circulate air within a room. If the owner was having his air system fixed, the fan should have been considered part of it. Why then would the electrician fix only the heater and not the ceiling fan? Deceased's girlfriend? Have you sent it? You should be able to listen to it using the recorder. Please listen to it when you can. Right. First, I want to know about the deceased's source of income. He did seem fairly well off for somebody without a steady job. Indeed. I'll be listening for that while I'm going over the recording. 